let me just start off by saying and this is actually like a true story i started doing like the over voice for this particular video and my little son was asleep in like my little tiny home office and i didn't realize that at the beginning of the recording or at least a big chunk of it he decided to just like fart i'm not even making this up like there is a recording somewhere of me just like ranting on about figures and he farts like in the little corner of my home office and i didn't even notice until i started editing and like putting the video together so i had to like re-record the entire intro so yeah that's kind of an interesting way to start a video but anyways all jokes aside if you guys are looking for like the hasbro fanboys jizz party this is definitely not the video for you okay i'm going to just be blunt and upfront with my personal opinion and i'm not gonna sit here and tell you how amazing dragon man is and how it's like the second coming and how it's just like perfectly priced like oh my goodness 85 dollars. okay i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna tell you guys my personal opinion my personal take on some of the newer releases some of these i believe are like hasbro pulse exclusives and they should be available on the 13th but i like i said i just wanted to kind of run through them give you guys my personal take on them and i suppose we should start off with probably the heavy hitter the one that everybody else wants to talk about and that is dragon man and yes the figure looks phenomenal it's huge it's big it's beefy it's bulky it's everything that you would assume a dragon man action figure would be from hasbro but I don't think it's a perfect campaign. I mean, all of these people that are saying that it's phenomenal, that it's not locked behind a HasLab project, I don't understand what the difference is. You're still having to pay for this figure up front and then having to wait about a year to actually receive the figure. Isn't that kind of like a Kickstarter slash HasLab project? I get it. It's like guaranteed you're actually going to receive the figure. And also there are no tier levels. So you know exactly what it is that you're getting. But still, $85 for a figure that you're going to receive in about a year if you're into that kind of stuff great i just don't like the fact that people are kind of like switching up the narrative that's not how things should be looked at i mean we should all have the facts available and if, if i'm not mistaken i read on the website that you are going to uh, there's going to be a window there and then once the pre-order window closes you will be charged for this figure and then eventually it will ship out i believe it's like next year summer so again let's not try to label things like oh haslab projects or kickstarter projects it's essentially a kickstarter project it is what it is uh if you're into this kind of stuff you can now pick it up 85 dollars, and i believe uh free shipping available as somebody mentioned this i think it's like about almost 95 dollars out the door with taxes and everything included and i repeat i'm not trying to bash the figure in any way shape or form but just keep in mind you can pick up a mega fig from mcfarland for about 40 dollars. i know that price point is probably going to go up eventually but as a moment as of the moment of this recording it's going for about 40 dollars, and you can get roughly like a nine inch almost a nine inch action figure from mcfarland we got man bad who had the big wings uh, you know great reach it was a big bulky figure for forty dollars and we're essentially paying or you're you're going to essentially pay about eighty five dollars which means it's about twice as much for uh, something from hasbro that's about 10 inches again it's a matter of personal perspective i'm just putting it out there you are slightly overpaying and i know there are people out there that were saying oh my goodness it should have been like 120 150 dollars please get off i mean there's no way that a collectible of that size should be worth that much i mean there are other oms that have taken on figures and made them roughly for about that price point without having to pay licensing fees and without it being hasbro so i i never personally i never thought that it was going to reach like a 100 price point now in terms of the figure it looks phenomenal i mean i'll be brutally honest even though i feel like you are overpaying slightly maybe by like ten dollars i still feel like it looks phenomenal the articulation is, is there there's some butterfly jo joints it appears to have double jointed knees double jointed elbows and then it has that floating mid torso which means you are going to get a decent range of motion i'm also going to assume that there's probably another cut at the bicep to really be able to help with more of the articulation in the upper body of the figure it's also worth mentioning the figure will come with 40 different points of articulation including the tail and the jaw it will come with an extra pair of hands a future foundations book as well as an alternate set of wings this is one of those figures that you definitely have to make your own personal choice on 
nobody can really tell you whether it's worth it or not i think it kind of toes the line for me personally but in terms of like the actual quality of the figure and just the presentation of it it looks phenomenal and i think it will definitely stand out in anybody's display now going into the hasbro con exclusives they are going to offer that king the conqueror deluxe action figure in that beautiful looking throne and for those people that have already seen this at san diego comic con you probably won't be too surprised your people that saw footage of the event this figure was on display it looks absolutely beautiful i love it there are also some alternate face plates that can be swapped in and out three extra hands an effect piece and then two separate blasters one of them being a little bit longer than the other personally i like this reveal as i said the throne looks absolutely phenomenal i'm sure that there's some reuse when it comes down to this king but it was done in a way that is definitely going to add some value to your display this is a beautiful display piece it's definitely going to stand out it's going to earn its spot in your display and for those people that have not yet found like their go-to king this one might definitely be it they also have that deluxe vehicle and battle droid action figure pack and i believe this one will be available at 49.99 which i think is a very reasonable price point you're paying roughly about 25 dollars for the vehicle 25 dollars for the figure i will say I'm not a huge fan of the battle droid. I think it's an absolute joke and I get it. There's only so much engineering that they could throw at this figure. It's essentially just a droid. It's supposed to stand there, say some quirky, cheesy things here and there. But for the most part, they're not supposed to have like really articulated body molds. They're not supposed to get into any crazy battle poses, but I wish they would because I actually did pick up one of these. I think it was like a GameStop exclusive battle droid, which is supposed to be like based on, if I'm not mistaken, one of the newer Star Wars video games. And it was a joke. It's just an action figure that just stands there. And I completely get the idea that they're just supposed to stand there and kind of shoot upright and Jedis are supposed to kill them, you know, without even flinching. But I don't know. I think they're for the most part, very disappointing. And uh, this is really cool deluxe two pack, but just in my personal opinion, the, that battle droid uh, overall body mold is just an absolute joke at this point. It's also worth noting that this comes in some beautiful packaging. They did the same thing with that Darth Maul SDCC deluxe figure. It looked absolutely brilliant. And I love the packaging for this one as well. Very, very reminiscent of what they looked like way back when episode one was being released. They will also have that Skylark G.I. Joe Classifieds action figure. I only dabble with the G.I. Joe's Classified line, but I have to say it's brilliant. I mean, they're offering an insane amount of accessories, a plethora of different uh, ways that you can pose this figure all for about a $34.99 price point, which is essentially like a deluxe release. And I really like it for the most part. They come with, like I said, uh, many different weapons that can be ported on to multiple different figures. Here you will have two different helmets. You'll have some binoculars, a knife, a jetpack, four alternate hands, two removable blast effects for your jetpack, as well as three different weapons or three different guns. And I completely get the argument against this release because a lot of this stuff is reused. It has been available with other figures, but I will say take solace in the fact that you're at least getting value for your $35 price point. There have been a lot of Marvel Legends that have been released in the past that are either deluxe size figures or at that $35 price point, like the, the Gamer vs. Spider-Man that had a bunch of like webbing accessories, but it didn't excuse the $35 price point. At least here, you're getting quite a few accessories, a bunch of plastic and stuff that's interchangeable between different GI Joes. So, and really any 112 collectible action figure. It's a solid pickup for a semi-decent price point. All in all, there are definitely some very interesting releases from Hasbro. Just to do a quick little recap in terms of Dragon Man, I think, it is what it is. I think it's a good solid deluxe action figure release. I don't think it's a perfect campaign. I did kind of nitpick it here and there, but for the most part, it's a phenomenal looking figure. You're going to pay up a little bit for it. You will pay up front, which to me, like I said, is technically a Kickstarter project, but 
it's definitely an affordable price point it's not outrageous even if you are overpaying it's only by you know a few bucks here and there same thing with the uh, gi joe release i really like it 35 dollars. you're getting a, a plethora of different accessories a jetpack a few extra hands some blast effect pieces and then same thing with the battle droid deluxe figure set which comes with the vehicle i like it i'm just not a big fan of the battle droid so it is what it is nothing really too exciting i think the king deluxe figure release with the throne is probably the most exciting one just because i feel like it's definitely going to draw attention in your display same thing with with the dragon man even though i tend to criticize stuff it's just for the sake of being transparent it's not that i hate these releases or i don't think that they're great for the right group of collectors i just want to throw the information out there and have people make their own choices this is one of those few videos where i'm not really taking a stance one way or, or another i don't hate the releases but i also don't love them it's kind of just in the middle and that's saying a lot because usually I, I can get very passionate about hasbro releases one way or another so just kind of a really interesting overall week from hasbro as i said most of this stuff uh, aside from the dragon man which is already available for pre-order the rest of it will be available on the 13th so definitely keep an eye on that as always this is just my personal humble opinion let me know your thoughts down below which of these are you the most excited about thank you guys for tuning in make sure to stay tuned we upload stuff like this all the time pretty consistently i'll see you guys in the next one and as always make sure you enjoy the hobby that's probably the most important part of all this Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.